Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hello, Calvary. This is Pastor Rick with your word for today. The scripture we're going to look at is out of Matthew chapter 15. Let me ask you a question first. Uh, Are you a clean freak? Are there any germaphobes that are out there? It's a good idea to wash your hands, but should washing your hands actually be a law? Should it be a doctrine? Well, I know you germaphobes think absolutely. That's a great idea. But one day the Pharisees were talking to Jesus because they had a problem with him. They saw his disciples eating food without washing their hands first. You see, as a good Jew, the tradition was that you would ceremonially wash your hands before you ate. That was a rule that was brought down by the elders. And so we questioned Jesus about this. And Jesus' response is very interesting. It starts in Matthew chapter 15 and and verse 10. And it says, And he called the people to him and said to them, Hear and understand, it is not what goes into the mouth that defiles a person, but what comes out of the mouth. This defiles a person. Then the disciples came and said to him, Do you know that the Pharisees were offended when they heard these things? He answered, Every plant that my heavenly Father has not planted will be uprooted. Let them alone. They are blind guides. And if the blind lead the blind, what will fall into the pit? That the both will fall into the pit. But Peter said to him, Explain the parable to us. And he said, Are you also still without understanding? Do you not see that whatever goes into the mouth passes into the stomach and is expelled? But what comes out of the mouth proceeds from the heart, and this is what defiles a person. For out of the heart comes evil thoughts, murder, adultery, sexual immorality, theft, false witness, slander. These are what defile a person, but to eat with unwashed hands does not defile anyone. Jesus is saying, is is this the big issue of the day? Is this what you're concerned about, washing of the hands? The what goes into your mouth, the germs that you take in. What about what's coming out of your mouth that's actually coming out of your heart? You see, I've been going to church a long time. And I know church people that go to church every week. They read their Bible. They pray. But when I listen to them talk, what comes out of their mouth is fear, anger, jealousy, gossip, resentment, evil thoughts. That's not what should be in our heart, and that's what Jesus is concerned about. Not what goes in, but what is in our heart. Our heart needs to be purified, because that's what we will speak, is what comes out of our heart. So let me ask you to do two things today. First of all, spend some time right now and look at your heart and ask the Lord to purify it. Pray the prayer that David prayed in Psalm 51 that says, Lord, purify my heart, create in me a clean heart, and renew a right spirit within me. And then after you've prayed that prayer and you've had your heart purified by the Lord, by asking him for forgiveness, do a second thing for me. Go wash your hands. It's flu season. You don't want to catch anything. It'd be a good idea. Do that. Love you, Calvary. Have a great day.